What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy Ruiz. Alexander Usyk, get this. Andy Ruiz states he hopes Alexander Usyk won't make the same mistakes he made against Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz has urged Alexander Usyk to not make the same mistakes that I did ahead of his highly anticipated rematch with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, 31, suffered the second defeat of his career to the Ukrainian on September 25th in front of a sold-out crowd in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Usyk, who was the smaller man by a country mile, shocked the world by battering the Brit from pillar to post, a win which saw him become the third man after David Hay and Evander Holyfield to win world titles at cruiserweight then heavyweight. Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn, has since confirmed he exercised the rematch clause. Of course, we know that. But Ruiz, is, <clears throat> Ruiz Jr. knows a thing or two about a thing or two about rematches, having lost the unified titles against Joshua in December. He said, you know what? Here's Andy Ruiz. You know what? The sky's the limit. It's really all up to him to do the best he can. I wouldn't want him to make the same mistakes I did. Getting all the belts, partying, doing all the dumb stuff, and not worrying about keeping those belts. I'm pretty sure Usyk's gonna do the right things. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's Andy's Ru Andy Ruiz's wish on Alexander Usyk. Let me counterpunch. Um, I think that. Alexander Usyk won't do that. If anything would distract Usyk is the war. We know that. I mean, that. I don't think it would be something that he would deliberately does. Why? The Ukrainians, when you're dealing with Vladimir Vitali, okay, Lomachenko, Usyk. If you look at all four of these guys, right, none of them, I repeat, none of them have problems with substances that we know of. None of them. You ever heard them talking about staggering out of a bar, getting drunk, doing this, that. You see them in a hot tub, a laser sauna, a gym, a church, a fishing hole, something like that. They're very, very common grounded people. They're not like that. They're, they're, they're not consumed with like outside influences like that. Like Andy was. Andy, you know, was broke pretty much. And being broke was a struggle. I know about that. I've been broke a lot in my past. And the good thing about being broke, it makes you humble. It makes you go without certain things. But you're going without certain things because you don't have them. You don't have the money to indulge in those type of things. However, when Andy Ruiz obtained that blessing of fighting Anthony Joshua and beating Anthony Joshua, it was the worst thing for him because we seen that the only reason that he was humble, the only reason he had restraint was because he didn't have it. And when he got it, he showed who he was as a person. He did the things that he wanted to do. Really nothing wrong with that, but he did the things that he wanted to do simply because he couldn't do them. Okay, so it's when you give a person that doesn't have money a lot of money, he's going to do the things that he's always wanted to do with that money. And that's what Andy Ruiz did. Alexander Usyk is not that person. He's always been a person with restraint, but it's not been restraint due to not the lack of. It's been restraint doing for uh, <clears throat> being that he has <clears throat> mental strength and power. Okay, he has a particular credo that he goes by and lives by. Okay, that's. That's his restraint is his character, not, oh, I don't have, therefore I can't do versus no, I have, but I won't do. Okay. So, um, the good thing is Andy Ruiz wants the best for Alexander Usyk, you know, and honestly, I think, you know, I, I heard Andy say also that Alexander Usyk is a devout Christian and so is he. And that's why he really wants Loki he wants him to win. So that's another thing I think that gets Andy's, you know, attention and support uh, because of Alexander Usyk's, you know, involvement with Christ. So I think at the end of the day, that's one of the main reasons as well. 
you know, and I think he wants to, hey, don't do what I did. You know what I mean? Because, and it, that shows a lot of character, though, because at least, you know, a lot of times misery loves company with people. And a lot of times when a person messes up, they want you to go through the same thing so they can be or so because they want you in their same boat. Then whereas Andy's like, no, I don't want you in my same boat. I want you in another boat, a bigger boat, a cleaner boat, a more expensive boat than I was because I did the same things or I did that that thing to upset Joshua and I didn't act on it. So please don't do what I did. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Andy Ruiz urging Alexander Usyk not to do the same things that he did. Of course, please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.